Hi, I'm Empress Rose and this is The Magician. So let's first start with our Kabbalah Tree of Life. So we've got this, uh, The Magician is number one, right? The Fool was number zero, Magician is number one. And they sort of, they both come in through here, but The Magician heads off towards this direction, for, towards uh, Baina, understanding. Um, but it's also looking at the more severe side of the tree. So there's a sense of like, where the fool was looking over here and like, this is going to be a really good trip. I like this. This is going to be fun. We're going to get from here to here. Um, the fool mm, is like, uh, when you first start, my favorite labyrinth, when you first start, you, you look like you're going directly to the center. Um, and you're like, wow, this is interesting. There's just random lines everywhere. I don't know what all this is. We'll just go straight to the center. But no, right before you get there, brr, brr, detours. And then you start going here, right? You've got this like, um, we launch the, the pinball of the universe has launched a pinball of desire through you. And it's, it's starting up here and that pinball might think like, oh, this is going to be cool. We're just going to go wee down here, but no, you got to jing, you got to, what do you, what do I want to say? Like cha-ching around up here. You can't just go down there, but the, the, um, the magician, this might not be their first rodeo. They know that they're seeing this whole thing and they're like, all right, I'm going to need to prepare. This isn't my first road trip. This isn't my first whatever. There needs to be some preparation here. So uh, those of you that watch my uh, YouTube channel videos know that I call the magician sort of the mise en place chef. Like he got, he's got everything laid out here, right? Um, well, well, let's start with this part, the magician here. So we have this, uh, this um, infinity sign here. This is the nature of life. This, we are in an infinite cycle of creation, um, of co-creation with the universe. I touched on that a little bit at the beginning, but we were born of this whole process. It's in our DNA. It's, it's, it's everything that exists in the universe has been through some sort of creation process where where the initial possibility comes in and, and moves through different stages until it becomes reality. So this is our nature. So this is, this is the, the nature of life here. So the, we're, we're infinite creation. You'll hear, you'll hear some people talk about how, um, oh, they thought they'd be so happy if they were, you know, a lawyer. And then they go through the whole process of becoming a lawyer. And after a while, they realize they want to do something else. And it's not that you were wrong to want to be a lawyer. It's that the nature is to want to do something else, right? We talked about that a little with the fool card uh, in the graveyard here of like, we've already done things. We've already lived other lifetimes, right? So, so we want to do something new here. So we're, we're ready to co-create here. So here he's got his different uh, elements here. We've got cups pentacles, swords, and wands, the four suits of the tarot. And then we have, this stance here is very important, as above, so below. As we dream, as we vision, as the universe wants, as God wants, whatever way you want to phrase that, it manifests into reality, into our reality here. And who is the conduit for man bringing these things from vision, God's vision, our vision, the universe's vision, uh, the co-creative vision here into reality. We are, we're that conduit. It's our work that makes dreams real. It's us that does that. So here he's assembling the parts. He understands this magician understands that there's all of this possibility ahead. Let's prepare for it. Um, if we're talking about a road trip uh, to Arches National Park, like we were with the fool, um, this magician, the fool is like, woo, let's go. I want to go on a new adventure. And, and the magician is like, okay, what's the budget? Uh, what are the costs of, are we going to stay in hotels or tents? What are the costs of that? How far is it? How much is gas? Um, what's our meals look, what do our meals look like? They're assembling the parts. They're putting together the plan. They're looking at the recipe. Um, we also have all these flowers down here, which talks very directly about co-creating with the universe. Um, growing a garden is one of the most direct and magical ways you can do that. Um, and so the magician is in the process of preparing the soil, buying the seeds, making sure there's a water supply, understanding, do these seeds need full sun, partial sun, or full shade? What, what, what does this, what are, what's it going to take to grow this? And the magician understands that some of those seeds are going to be duds. They're never going to come up. Uh, one, maybe too many seeds come up and we're going to have to call some, we're going to have to 
thin them out and, and pull some and make some decisions and some choices about what looks more viable and what doesn't. So, but it is this, gardening is the ultimate co-creative process. And as a metaphor, it can't be beat as far as like seasonal, we go through seasons, um, recreation, regeneration, each, each uh, thing that you grow has within it a seed for the next adventure, for the next creation. So even, you know, uh, getting your law degree and being a lawyer for a while has within it a seed to maybe be a writer, maybe be um, go into art history with all your research knowledge and all of that. Um, it's got the seed of your next adventure already in it. So this is the co-creative process here. Um, gardening is the perfect metaphor for that. So I also wanted to talk about mise en place here, right? The chef that is like, I, the fool says, oh, I want to make, what do we want to make? I want to make um, a, a, an almond orange cake. Okay. Uh, so what do we, how do we do that? And so the magician is like, well, do we have almond flour? Do we have oranges? Do we have sugar? Do we have eggs? And they put that all out. Mm, let's, let's switch it up. Let's go to stir fry. I think stir fry is better because once this thing gets going, you really want your spices and, you know, once you get that heat going and that oil going, um, there's going to be a quick process and you don't want to be like, okay, let's put some uh, chopped onions in here and hold up. I've got to find the carrots. Now I've got to cut the carrots and now your onions are burnt to a crisp by the time you get the carrots in there. So you got it. You have to, in order to do a good stir fry, have it all set up and all ready to go. Um, so that's a lot of what this magician looks like to me. Here we have I mean, this, this looks very much like a mise en place. And then here she is tapping into, this is the muse tarot, um, tapping into that energy, into the flow, into the energy of the universe um, and bringing it into these elements to create, you know, her, this, this totally looks like she's ready to do a stir fry here. She's got her spices. She's got everything chopped and all the ingredients, the protein and the vegetables and uh, everything's ready here. All she needs is the, um, all she's doing is bringing in the energy and calling it in. This also is as above, so below bringing that, um, that imagination into reorganizing these elements, right? Because cooking is just basically reorganizing things. Um, you can have it all separate like that, but we're reorganizing it and putting it together for something that's greater than the sum of its parts. It also reminds me of um, Frankenstein's monster, right? We've like harvested the body parts from all these other uh, people that no longer need them. And we put them all together and now we need the electricity to come in and put this all together. So it's the assembly stage with the intent of creating, co-creating with the universe. The first time I learned about this was in this cookbook that I got when I was like 10 or 11 in the Anne of Green Gables, um, the height of the Anne of Green Gables craze back then. I dressed like her, I talked like her, I went on adventures like her. But one thing that this book really does, each recipe, right, has all of the well no we've got to go to the best one what's the best one here tantalizing raspberry tarts obviously so we have all of the ingredients but not only do we have all the ingredients we have every tool that you're going to need listed um, so you get out every measuring spoon every bowl before you even start then there's a whole section at the beginning about how to ask your parents if now is a good time to use the kitchen um, and how to clean up after yourself. Like it's just really gives you the whole thing. This to me is the magician's cookbook. It's um, really making practical preparation. So people will say manifestation. The magician is manifestation. To me, it's a nod from the universe. Yes, you can make this happen. This has possibility. This dream isn't just a pipe dream, isn't wishful thinking. Nobody said, let's drive to Mars. They said, let's drive to Arches National Park. This can be done. It's been done before. You've driven to um, Yosemite before. So why not drive to, to Arches National Park? This is possible. This is real. This can actually happen. You are the conduit for making this dream happen. So this is a real push from the universe when you get this card of, yes, you can. You can do this. Is it going to take work? Absolutely. You're going to have to put the pieces together. Like how long is it going to take? It depends on how big your project is. 
And you may have to revisit this phase. It may not be done once. Um, and creating these videos, uh, I actually started several weeks ago and made this video, realizing halfway through that I was missing all sorts of things. I needed um, to assemble, reassemble my parts here. So I'm back at the magician phase. Uh, I left the magician phase. And honestly, this table is mise en place. I've got all sorts of tools here. I've got all of the cards I want to talk about picked out. I've got my notes over here, things I don't want to forget, although I probably will because that's the flow of things. Um, and so, uh, so I've got my, you know, Kabbalah map out and all of that. So then we have this magician card uh, from the Mystical Moments uh, tarot deck. And um, here she is, this is her home, her home. She's at home uh, creating and pulling things out of the magician's hat. This is where she lives. This is where we all live, is this co-creative um, aspect of the, the universe. So she's creating her own life here and she's bringing together all the tools. And again, we have her depicted halfway between the sky and the earth, that conduit, that halfway as above, so below, bringing things into existence, pulling rabbits out of hats. Um, it may look like a magic trick, and in the end it may feel like it's a magic trick. How did I do that? But it's actually what we're born to do, and it's our home, and it's where we belong. We have, again, the apparition deck, very literal. Here we have literally assembled the parts. We just need the magic. Again, we have the, this is a lot like gardening. This is a lot like growing something. Um, you need your sun, you need your water, you need your soil, and you need your seeds, of course, and then you can really get growing. So that's a very, you know, literal, all the parts are here. You've got your hori hori knife, one of my favorite gardening tools. Um, yeah, you've got your water, your seeds, and then the magic. I love this magician from um, Guardians of the Night by uh, Colinane, one of my favorite uh, tarot artists. Um, I love the seriousness of this raccoon. This raccoon is, uh, is dead serious. Like this is, we're leaving the fool energy and we're entering into the, oh right, this is serious. We're actually gonna do the stir fry. We're actually, what would it be like if we actually went on this road trip? So I love the seriousness of this typically playful animal um, but here again, we've got all the elements involved. Um, the assembling of the parts is what I call this. Um, this, this card, the magician card is about the assembling of the parts, the bringing things together. Um, not just the plan, but the bringing elements together. And it may take a while to gather those elements. Uh, so this raccoon is very seriously, um, gathering the elements. He's, it makes a good magician. He is resourceful, adaptable, clever. Um, what the raccoon wants, if the raccoon sets its sights on your backyard chickens, that raccoon is going to get those backyard chickens. Um, so, and then the seriousness also talks about like the clear intentions, conscious desires. When we're in the magician phase, we definitely want to be very clear about our intentions and our conscious desires. And then I have a quote here that I wrote down. Um, we need ground to scrape and ho, not the sky of unspecified desires, right? It's our nature to do this, to create into reality, right? This, this dream and this vision that we have with the fool card, it is our nature to need to create that, to need to, to scrape and ho and dig at the dirt um, and bring that sky into reality. I mean, the plants, everything, they, a lot of what they need comes from the sky, the the sun, the rain, all of that coming from this visionary space, but we're grounding it, we're bringing it into reality. And in that magical space, things can actually happen. So uh, that was the magician. And um, I hope you enjoyed your introduction to the magician. So as you can see, this video wasn't quite over. Um, I forgot to discuss the magician in reverse. So what is the magician in reverse? The magician in reverse can be, um, there's parts missing here. You've forgotten something. There's uh, one of these elements that you need is missing. Maybe you forgot your protein for the stir fry. Um, this is why we have the magician card so that we can assemble the parts and make sure we have all the parts before we start cooking. Um, I've done that multiple times, starting a recipe only to realize, oh, wow, I always have eggs and I don't have eggs today. So we have, the, the parts aren't completely assembled. Um, 
there's also, you know, if we're, at, we're asking tarot, when we come to tarot, we're asking, what about this co-creation? What about this aspect of my life? Um, how can you tell me this? And when we get this card, it would definitely be a warning that you don't have everything you need to move forward here. Um, it's not time to turn on the burner. It's not time to take off in the car. You don't have what you need. More work is required. This can also be like, this might be a dud of an idea. This one might not be viable. This might one not be, um, this, this one might not work out. Um, we don't quite have what we need. You could be missing again, the energy to do something. You could be missing any of any kind of crucial element. It's not here. It's not available. And it depends on where the placement is. Um, and what the, what the advice is and the reading and all of that. But this would definitely be like, mm, this may not work out. Um, either, either because we don't have every, it just doesn't have everything it needs is there's, a, there's a part missing, right? Frankenstein's monster, uh, doesn't have a left leg. So if we, <laughs> that's a really funny image. If we bring this monster to life right now, he's just going to have to pogo stick around the world. Like, or, you know, if he's missing whole pieces, like there's just the, something here isn't going to, to come together. Um, so uh, inability to manifest something uh, for now, um, at least. So, um, so just, and it would just be letting you know, not saying don't do it, but just saying like, mm, this, could, this could actually not be, uh, we're not ready to, for this to go smoothly yet. So, all right. There we go. Now we got the reversal in there.